Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Portal. Now we are entering chamber 17 and this is the introduction of the companion cube right there which I'm very excited about. The vital apparatus vent will deliver a weighted companion cube in 3, 2, 1. Can I catch you? Can I catch you? This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. Now if you know absolutely nothing about Portal, then you don't know of the internet phenomenon that the Gaming Cube did eventually become. Um, it became one of the one of the most memorable gaming characters of all time. We use this as a shield here. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the Weighted Companion Cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Cool. Now we have that done. This is actually very interesting. There's a theory with the Companion Cube um, actually saying that inside, there's a theory that inside the Companion Cube are um, um, human remains like of old test subjects that failed and uh, Game Theory does a really good um, episode on it. It's one of my favorite um, episodes of them. Um, they did a very 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 good job about it. Oh, yeah, and here we have more crazy bugs, crazy person bugs, uh, Ratman, and this is all used in the proof of the whole compa uh, companion cube theory that um, that they do over on game theory, and it's really, really good. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's really, really good. But anyway, um, let's see what am I doing. All right, I'm gonna come in over here first. Is the easiest one. Just use this kind of as a shield and kind of try to. There you go. You have to kind of bang it off the command cube to go in there. And then I'll raise the first platform. And then... Back to those two hallways. To get the other two. Use that place of orange portal there. You can see there's a little black mark there. Let's put a blue portal there. Just wait a second. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. Can you? In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting you say that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna do the we're gonna use the other one. Um, I'm gonna do this first. What you're gonna do is take your companion cube and put it on this button. This is the only way that I've done it. I haven't seen anybody, anybody else doing it, doing this any other way. So this is the only way that I know how to do it. Actually, did I do that correctly? Yes, I did. I'm gonna put that portal pretty much right in the middle. So I need to use the blue portal for this side. I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm trying to hurry if I possibly can. Oh god. Blue. So now we know that portal will head towards the second button area. Head back down here, make sure not to get hit. Oh, see, there it is. And that's where we're gonna go. And the only way that I've done this is just crouch and get as far along the edges as you can and kind of duck out of the way. We're gonna go on a little party. Thank you. 
Aren't you excited? I'm pretty excited. I'm very excited, actually. I love my companion cube. Just like the rest of the gaming community that loves Portal, I got obsessed with the companion cube. Oh, and this is the sad part where we incinerate the cube. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. Yay. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. But Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. But, no. I don't... But no, I love my companion cube. No, I don't know. There's a lot more dialogue here if you wait longer, but I don't want to wait that long. Okay, fine. Okay. Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists, you euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Thanks. Another part of that theory is that at no point in time is a companion cube ever um, threatened by going across a material emancipation grill such as this. And it's all part of the theory, and it's really, really, really good. Makes you question the ethics going on in Aperture Science. There are a bunch of naughty, naughty boys here. That was weird. Ignore that I say that I said that, please. Now we're moving on to the experiment is nearing its conclusion. Yay. The enrichment center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. I will be baked, and then there will be cake. Well, goody. Okay, now the only way that- ooh, what's in here, shall we? Crouch. Really nothing. As far as I remember, there is nothing actually in here. Nothing special, at least. Just a couple of stairs and a pit of death. pit o death Come on. I got stuck for a second. Yeah, I remember doing some searching the first time I played this, I was like, what was the point of putting this room here? But it, this does give you a kind of a show of, I mean, everything is kind of, well, some more crazy drawings, obviously. But it, it gives you a kind of, to show that Aperture behind the scenes is kind of in disrepair. It's rusting over, it's not it's not pretty at all. Okay, so I placed an orange portal there, so the only way that I know how to do this is just to do this, and hopefully I won't die. Because there's always a threat of dying. Okay. Oh crap. I died. I was hoping I wouldn't do that. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. So I didn't put the orange portal over there far enough. So what I'm doing essentially is putting the blue portal down at the bottom of the wall as far as I possibly can, and then basically jumping and hugging the wall, and then the game will, if you keep pressing like the W key or the forward key, the game will automatically like latch on to the portal allowing you to go through. You'll have to do this later in the game um, when you start escaping too. At least that's the only way I know how to do it. Nope, see, I would have I would have died again. It is not my day. Let's see, I'll put a portal there. That is death. That is death. That is not death. But I can't put one there. Okay. I'll just go here for now. And then what I'm going to do is. Oh, yeah. I remember this part. Do, 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 do. And you have to go into this little other section and get this fucking cube. This part. Are you still there? Okay, the best.
best way to go about, go, to go about this is to just... Performance of all authorized activities. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. And now we essentially have to do the same thing over again, except not put a portal on the sliding wall. We just need to get out with the box with said box. So we're going to wait for this platform. And then slide here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to currently just move the box over because it's just easier. So I'm going to put that there. Bye bye. Um, and then come back. Push the button, grab the box, grab the cube, and we're good to go. Done. Uh, just you put an orange portal there, this will just make it easier. Blue portal there, and we're good to go. This last one. Really fast. This one's actually pretty easy. You just have to lock your vision. So what you do is you're just going to use constant gravity. Well done. 
Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. Thank you. We are nearing on the final portal chamber in which we escape from the clutches of GLaDOS. So I'm going to stop here and continue it in the next part. I'll see you guys then.